Hey everyone, this is Dan the GM welcoming you to What the Dice. This is episode 32 and I can't be prouder for everything we have accomplished thus far. Well, one thing I do want to do, it's a little different than normal, is I wanted to tell you guys about another podcast that I absolutely enjoy listening to. It's called Shadowrun Origins. It's by Opni and his team. And it, they go through some of the classic Shadowrun adventures. They are a blast to listen to, and I highly suggest listening to it. Well, enough from me. Let's get on with this week's episode. Standing out by the beachside, we watch as the night slowly fades to morning. The old storyteller tossed stones into the water, not skipping them, just tossing them. He turns to us and gives a weary smile. Well, my friends, our adventuring party has gone deeper and deeper into the Bone Temple. Many strange puzzles, many strange mysteries, many tomes, many questions have all been raised. But our adventurers stand true. They plan to finish what they've started. They need to learn more of this strange deity that has made themselves known. Well, sit back, me friends. Let me tell you our tale and continue to weave this strange web of mystery. Where we left off. Kalila, you yes. wanted to continue to search about this room. Yes. Yes, I do. And the back of protection. Um, 25. So, going through the shelves, you see these books that you really don't recognize or understand. But, for the most part, you don't see anything that screams to get your attention. Okay. No more hidden things. Correct. What would you guys like to do next? Well, I'm actually going to go to one of the libraries and just check out to see if anything perks an interest in any of the books. Like books on my goddess or books on how to be a better paladin. What book, what uh, library are you going to? Well, we only know of the one being of the arts, so let's go over to this one. Oh yeah, I, I knew that that was a library, but past that, there was nothing else to describe that room. Defibulous is going to go check on Rune. <laughs> Where's Rune? Rune is still way the heck back here, because I keep forgetting about him. Hey, you doing alright there, Rune? Rune is good. Clyde, as you enter this book, as you enter this book, as you enter this room, it is clearly a library dedicated to religion. All the books cover the origin of each god. They are all pressed in leather that is of the god's favorite or blessed color. Their symbols sketched in their favored me metal. Written in the language of the race that they favor. The one thing that sticks out is there is a book sitting on the ground laid open. As you read it, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Can I get a knowledge religion? 21. Flipping through the book, you see references to other gods, other goddesses, other books, other book pages, as if written in some code. And then you start to notice that the language in it starts to change. It seems to be written in cat folk and sylvan. Koala, I need you. 
her ears will perk up and she'll run to wherever the hell she heard his voice from. The Fabulous will go check on him since he's yelling. The Fabulous! What? It's like Sylvan and Catfolk it changed oh. to all at once, and somehow I knew it changed to Sylvan and Catfolk. She'll investigate the books and she can read both. Um, Knowledge Planes, please. Knowledge Planes, you. Promises, promises. 17. Reading through it, something strikes you as if it, you remember a reference in the old library. Mm. The reason that the Bone God was shunned. Mm. In the library at the Holy City, a scholar speculated that the reason the Bone God hates the other gods is because of a feud, a fight that broke out from the gods that started the war. As you read this book, Clyde and Short Round start to notice it. The words begin to shift to common. The story begins to talk about how the Bone God was fascinated by the mortals to the point of they chose to become mortal and live amongst them. Not rule, but live. So the Bone God made themselves mortal to live with us? Right. What about the other gods? Did they do that to you? No. The thing that is weird is it makes reference to buildings of metal and glass. How the Bone God would work side by side with mortals, helping them improve their lives without using their powers. Then the war broke out. The Bone God was hurt. Mortals had found that they were a god and began to beg and plead for them to have power to fight. The Bone God then returned to the God's plane and began to wage this war against them. Wait, did the Bone God wage war against them as in them the humans or them the gods? Them the gods. Okay, that was a very vague them. Sorry. The book ends as it talks about them returning with the plan to fight the gods to the end to save the mortals. We definitely have to keep this book. I concur. So the bone god became mortal, worked with a, worked with everyone. Everyone decided they wanted more power, went to the other gods, started to fight. The end? There's... it just... no? It... Gonna be confused that there's not an ending, so it could be ongoing. Well, you guys know my my view on things. I leave the god stuff to you guys. Definitely something to take back to that crouchy old rat. I think that's the truth. Yeah. Anyone figured out how we're gonna get back? Oh, we still have more to explore. Oh, don't we do have that map room too that. I looked in, I looked down the hall into it and whatnot. And I still haven't had a chance to go and examine the what are they called? Dais. Da thank you, Dais. Whatever. The uh, the moist tap. The lotion dais. Mm. Yeah, your moist dais. Any other books that strike a fancy? And Kalila's also going to investigate this room for anything hidden, since there was other things hidden in the other room. Uh, Defibrous will help look for hidden any hidden rooms. One moment while I do a quick look in my notes. Unaccepted burr. Okay. Moist table. Nice. Uh, where you got you're investigating in this room, correct? Yes. Just let me know when you want numbers from me. Uh, go ahead and roll your perception. Twenty-seven. 17 on my thing. You don't find anything that jumps out at you. Nothing seems out of place. 
nothing seems particularly interesting. Okay. So you have the arts and the map room left to look through. Let's do the map room. I concur. The map. Divious will warn everyone that there's water in there. Okay. As you walk in, it is now night. The room is filled with this beautiful blue night light. There is no water, but you can smell the ocean. As you look at the map, you realize it is showing movement. Perception from everyone. 12. Dirty 20. 26. Rune rolled a one. <laughs> Good job. Poor Rune. That's because he's off in the other room. Oh, he's in the hallway. As you guys study this map, you realize it's not just showing movement, but it is moving. Looking closer, you can see boats, airships, you can see the towns, and you can see caravans moving. You touch the wall, and it is just a cloth map. But this cloth map stretches all the way around. The room? Yep. Like, okay. Uh, I'm going to try and find where we are. Yeah, yeah, that. Those also, wait, the tapestry is moving. Yes. Like, you can see the ocean movement. I'm going to move you onto the world map so that I can show you where you are on the world map. You guys can see the world map? Yep. Sure. Yeah. You are... Are we at the other triangle? Nope. You are technically where the two sides of the map would fold to make it complete. Oh, okay. We're on the edge of the world. Ah. So it's a flat flat world, huh? Is this disc world? Can this be disc world? Okay, sorry. No, it can't be disc world. Yeah. Oh, would it be on the back of a flying turtle in space? That'd be cool. Oh, by elephants? Okay. Can I get a perception check from everyone again? A second one? Yes. 16. 23. Woo! Uh, tw 27. As you guys are studying the map, you notice that there's writing at the bottom and the top. So where kick play and crown molding would be in different languages from all over the world. Two words ring out. Nira Tova. Nira Tova? That's the name of our world, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But your characters did not know that. Um, so where we are on the map, is there anything moving near us? Just the ocean. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Can we see the boat of our friends? Where are they? The rats that we were with? You see several boats, but you cannot identify which one is... Your, the boat that brought you. Do we have at least a vague conception of where it might be? Based on what you remember, you were heading north. So you look at the north, what would be north, so the upper part of the wall. You see several boats moving around up there. Okay, so it, it could still be there. Mm -hmm. All right. So this god might have noticed that we were going to go see him and just brought us here. To go say hi. I would have thought if the god brought us... Well, I mean, maybe they didn't want to say hello. Well, you know, gods are patient, if anything else. Also, which god? This doesn't feel like it would be Desna. And I would have imagined you would have said something by now if you felt it was your god that did this. Oh, yeah, definitely. So which god brought us here? Uh, the um, own god is what my thought. Could be. All right, shall we uh, commence our look at the first non moisturized tablet? Deus. Did you guys? Uh, you did have the last library, which is three that was just a pop in. 
just as uh, if you guys are fully searching all the libraries. Yeah, I wanted to make sure there was nothing else hidden here, but... To the arts room. Inside, as I said before, you see these beautifully designed instruments. You can see Rune's eyes light up as he stares at them. These are... Does anyone have a praise? Uh, I might. One second. I do. Ah, uh, yeah, kinda. Kind of. All right. Well, it kinda. Appraisal is useful untrained. Just so you know. Yeah, hence the kinda. I mean, not really, but I do. All right. So everyone, give me an appraise check. Well, Ooh, holy sh! Well, I don't notice anything, but I notice apparently fine details so. suck. Uh, Nine, uh, nineteen here. Sorry. Dirty 20. Mm -hmm. I got a 21 on Rune. Each of you begin to look at these instruments. And those who have been in royal court would say they would be masterwork. But as you look closer, they are worth more than any masterwork instrument you've ever seen. The lute's strings are made of silk. The piano strings are made of mithril instead of ivory the keys are made from smooth and cut quartz the black keys made of obsidian the wood ironwood all hand hewn what do you guys want to do i'm going to uh ask um rune if he has any interest in these items? Rune shakes his head no. Rune feels as if that steel. These not meant for bard like me. These meant for bards of royalty, elves, and dwarves. Rune, simple. Mm. I got it. I understand. Can we at least see if we can find parts to fix your your instrument? Rune looks at his guitar and just smiles and gives a slight nod. The Fibulous is going to look around for parts to help retune and fix up his uh, guitar. Roll your perception. Anyone else want to do anything while he's doing that? Got an... Uh... Just doing a basic sweep like I did the other rooms for hidden doors or passageways. Right. Rolled in that 20 for looking for stuff for him. All right. You find a small box containing the, the silk-based loot strings. You find some tuning pieces of fine silver. But you also notice something that catches your eye. Dangling behind a chandelier a very small box being held up by a simple um rope chain rope string rope cord. i was trying to think of what that's the cheap rope is called hemp rope it's being held up by a simple hemp rope hey guys i need someone who's tall how might i assist you this is this is at roof level. This is above a chandelier. Oh, well, I don't think you're that tall, but there's a little box being suspended by a hemp rope up there by one of the chandeliers. I would say Kalila. No. Hmm. She'll smirk and look up there. Could she shoot it down with an arrow, or could she jump up there and get it pretty easy? Oh, I was going to say that. Uh, it looks like it might be easier to shoot down, but you are more than welcome to try to climb a bookshelf and then jump off a wall and try catching the chandelier. No, no, this is not a tavern. <laughs> this is a home temple something. I will be respectful and I will take me as many rounds as I want to, to shoot it down so that way I don't damage anything. I will try to catch it along with, you know, the food bus, Hopefully, I'll help try to catch it, yeah. Alright, so... Oh my Kalila. god, wait a second. Everybody stop. Kalila. Send your spider up there to cut the rope. Hugin goes up and goes and fetches. Okay. Package. I'm not even going to bother. I forgot about Hugin. Yep, I mean. 
it does take okay. him a few minutes to chew through the rope. But he can at least hold on to yes. it. Cutting the rope free, he lets it drop down. Um, anyone can catch it. It doesn't matter who. I'm going to let Kalila. She's uh, nimble. I will catch it. It is a box. And to be more specific, it is a ring box. Tiny. Yes. Very tiny. Okay. Would you like to open it? No, I'm just going to stick it in my pocket. Okay. Yes, I will open it. Inside is a small ring. Slightly oversized for one of its, for a standard ring. You see a small little compartment. Opening it up, you see a few lock picks and some other uh, thieve tools coiled around the band. They are made from metal and spring straight up when you open the chamber. I'm, I'm, what? You basically found a thieves ring. I'm dropping information in chat. Okay. Would I, I'd be able to identify what that is? You would have seen this a couple of times. Some hunters tend to wear them for needing to get like locks that they may have lost the key. Okay. She will present it and be like, I think this is a thieves ring. A lock picking ring. That can come in handy. Very much so. Uh is hey Dan, is there a hmm. station here in the room with the instruments to work on and repair an instrument? No, there is not. Definitely this will go to ruin. Um, I got stuff that could be used to fix it. I just don't have a station. I can try to fix it without a station if you like. Rune hands you his guitar. Um, I would just need a... Uh, where's your thing? You can either give me a craft skill or an engineering skill. Profession engineering. Yeah, I think I'll do the profession engineering. Okay. While he's doing his engineering crafting... I'm going to go back over to these moist tables of 87%. 21 total. All right. You are able to do the repair. There you go, buddy. Rune plucks a couple of the strings and smiles. It's beautiful. To Kalila. Anyone following Kalila? Yep, I will. Right. Yeah, I will once the work is done. Yep. At the dais. Oh, I'm sorry. Did any um, want anyone want to do any other checks in the library before we continue on? Well, I also I don't mm. know what he rolled, but I also rolled and I thought it was like right. 27 um, or something. But Kalila, I mean... you find a strange scroll with notes on it. It's a uh, musical score. Yeah, probably going to show that to Rune so that way he can see what is about that because I don't know how to read a musical school score. Rune sits down and begins to study it. While his thing's being repaired. Well, it takes more than that, but oh, yes. Fair. All right. At the dais and moist dais. <laughs> dais and moist dais. What would you guys like to do? I'm just, I haven't seen these at all, so I'm just generic observation. See what I see. All right, roll your perception. What is to the left and right? Hallways. 18. Okay. Can we see down any of the hallways? Give me a second. I can reveal some of it. Mm. Thank you. Now that we're over here looking. Yep. Um. So what are you looking at? I'm sorry. What'd you roll? 18. Are you looking at the moist dais or the standard dais? I am going to start with the small standard dais. As you look at the dais, you see an area where one would stand to look overlook the moist dais. Okay. Some of the stones are stained with red, blue, and black candle wax. The candles have been cleaned away. Hmm. Before that, as you look past the dais, you see two doors and then a large symbol of the bone god. A large black rose with red thorns. All right. So what's in between if you're supposed to stand here? So she will now investigate. Are you standing there? Not yet. No. She will investigate the moist dais next. And what is after the moist dais? That's the giant wall with the painting of. Uh, it's a giant ro black rose with red yeah, thorns. 
and then two doors. Symbol of the bone god thing. Okay. Well, her moistness is looking at... Wow, that came out very wrong. I'm just going to look down this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Too many jokes with the word moist. As Kalila looks at the moist dais. Yeah, investigating that one, I, I got a... Uh, uh, math 26. You recognize the scent as you get closer. It's nectar. The, the oil of the rose? Yes. Yes, oil of rose. Okay. Defibulous and Clyde, would you like to do anything? Oh, I'm looking down this one hallway over here while I'm... Down that hallway, you see an alcove with what looks like maybe a suit of armor. The Fibulous, what would you like to do? I'm just going to peer down the other hall. Down that hall, you see another alcove, but you don't see anything past that. It is well lit by torches. I'm just going to kind of just cautiously meander down that hallway. As you walk, I need a perception check from... Kalila and Kalila. Okay, just me. Um, twenty-seven. You hear a click. Uh oh, from where? Kind of echoes. You don't really have an exact spot. She's just gonna yell out, "Freeze!" and we don't pause. move. And we don't move. Okay. She is going. What? Well, did Hugin possibly detect where it came from? Uh, roll perception for him. Perception for Hugin. Ow. Oh, I need his character to have perception. 19? He seems to be hovering around where the doors are. These doors? The locked doors, yes. Hmm. She's going to go over there and investigate then. Roll perception. Nope. Ooh. That's nice. Uh, 27. As you investigate, you start to notice that you can feel a breeze coming from the edging of each of the doors. So there's... Wait. Okay. So I can feel wind coming from the doors? Yes. The doors are shut and there's a door in the way but now you can feel a slight breeze coming from it. It opened up something. Mm -hmm. Kalila's going to yell out, I think somebody opened something to this big wall door. I can feel a breeze. I would come back. I'd come back. I didn't know if somebody set off a trap. I just heard a click. As the Fibulous walks up, you hear the sound of locks engaging. And the free the wind stops. The fibulous. What? You set off the clicks. Good clicks or bad clicks? Well, I can no longer feel the breeze coming out of the door. So whatever you were doing opened up a lock, lo or locking mechanism. I, breeze to no breeze. That's what happened. The fibulous will go back to that hallway and start looking for a, a trigger plate. Okay. Roll your. Perception. Or your engineer. Whichever is higher. Profession engineer. Dirty 20. I'm going to make a mark so you know where you found it. So as you were walking around, you find a stone that is literally the size of your foot that can be depressed. Poor stone. <laughs> no. Sad stone is sad. Sad stone. <laughs> <laughs> recognize the type of trigger as a weight trigger it only requires a small amount of weight to depress the button i want to go say hello to the stone see if it'll cheer it up oh sad button too i'm gonna go my way and see if i have a clicking mechanism you just okay. found it it's a simple pressure plate you just need a little bit of weight on it to keep it going all right clyde perception I see Ooh. four. You find the pressure plate. It is slightly bigger. 
Um, <laughs> but as you step on it, it clicks. Kalila, the door opens a little wider. You're not able to get through it, but you could definitely see the outlines of the door now. Send Hugin. Hugin to where? Through the door. See if it's safe. Oh, yeah. That is... See if we actually should be doing this or not. Why don't... Well, all right. She'll have Hugin at least investigate. I don't want to lose my spider, so don't you dare move. I won't dare move. Hugin crawls in. After a few moments, he returns. He doesn't seem to be harmed or anything of the sort. Well, he can at least give me a kind of, like, basic signal of danger versus not danger, so... He seems perfectly calm. He didn't rush out. It was just that... Seems safe enough. Short hit round. Your hit your trigger. He was already doing it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So she's going to look around for a third, since it's not open enough, and take a guess. It's up here. Kalila, how much does your character weigh? Hmm, only 100 pounds. Soaking wet. Yeah, she's probably like 100 ish. Give or take 10. I don't know. So you feel something depress a little bit, but you don't have the weight to push the trigger all the way down. All right. She'll just go over to Kali going, I'm too light. Trade me. I trade her. I was going to say, why don't we just put something down on here to depress this and then both of us stand on it. But... We'll make small bag of dirt and leave there. Alright. I... So you're going to leave the temple to make a bag of dirt. Well, I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's pristine in here, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure I have something that I can do. I'm just going to set down my bag. Okay. Yeah, that works. As Clyde steps down on the dais, the large double doors swing back, opening up a new area. Give me a moment, and I will reveal. Rune could be assisting with this, or is he still trying to decipher that music? Still trying to decipher, mostly because I keep forgetting to roll. Give me a sec. Okay, Rune comes out. As soon as I get control of him again. There we go. You also hear the sounds of clicks as if something is locking into place. She will wait to see how long that takes. Just a few seconds. You hear click, click, click. It sounds like these might be open now. Defibulous, let go of your trigger. Defibulous will take his foot off of it. The doors remain open. Clyde, I think you're safe to come down too. Okay, I'm going to slowly step off. As you step off, nothing happens. Alright, I'm going to go pick up my bag. Okay. Defibulous is now going to... A random skeleton grabs you. Yeah! I give it a hug and say hello. Oh, oh, is this like level grinding? We can just walk up and down the hallway for random encounters and level? Eternal grind? There, there you go. Eternal grind plus loot. Ooh, yes, eternal Def grind plus loot. Or boss battle, I don't know. What are you guys wanting to do now? Uh, Defibulous is going to continue down his little hallway, but also being mindful of any potential oh, triggers or traps. Clyde, doing the same? We're going to start with Defibulous. About halfway down, where you see this alcove, on the wall, you see a massive sword. Something that you would see a giant wielding. A giant as in a giant human, or an actual, you know, giant giant? Like, an actual giant giant. That is a damn big sword. I need a perception check from you. 25. As you stare... Oh, hold on, where's my notes? Okay. As you stare at this thing, you notice something out of place. Everything on this sword is black, with small cracks that are filled with silver. At the bottom dangles a single piece of wood tied by a piece of rope. Defibulous is going to kind of stare at it oddly. Didn't kind of holler back, hey, Clyde! Okay, then I will come over to Defibulous. Yeah, there you are. Um, yeah, there, there's something off about this sword here, buddy, and you use swords, so I figured this would be something you could help with. 
And no, you shouldn't hug it first. Okay, I will inspect the sword. Perception. Jeez, what the heck? Nineteen. So studying it, you see what clot what the fibulus found, which is a strange piece of wood tied with a simple rope onto the handle of the giant sword. But looking at it closer, you notice that the sword is free floating except for the midpoint where the handguard meets the handle. It seems as if it might be able to be pulled like a giant lever. Well, let's pull it like a giant lever. Lever. Strength check. Holy crap, that's a 21. Reaching up, you grab the large sword. Pulling it, you hear a loud click. As two doors off in the distance unlock and swing open. The strange wood drops onto the ground with a hollow thud. Pick up the wood. Looking at it, it looks like a wooden spyglass that is missing one lens. Well, I will hold on to it for the moment, because I don't think anybody has found a lens recently. Kalila. Yes? What would you like to do? Well, they didn't holler for her. She's at least going to see what is in this room that they just unlocked. Walking around the room, you see a symbol or a silhouette of a female on this door or on this okay. wall. A silhouette of a male on, the right. on this wall. Yes. And the ground has a strange gold lining. As you walk around, you notice that there's a strange pattern in the stone. Perception. Nineteen. Studying the stonework, you start to notice that it's making a diamond shape. The one thing that is odd is that there are three small stone step-ups. Here, here, and here. They are about a foot up. Okay. Is the, the images of the male and the female just silhouettes and that's it? No other, like... Okay. Yes. Silhouettes. And there's nothing else in this room other than three stone step ups and a different shape in the floor tile. Correct. Well, I'm definitely not stepping into the middle of that for some bit of time without everybody else. All right. We'll move to Clyde. All right. I'm going to go over here. You find two hallways leading into a larger hallway. This area is decorated with artwork from all over the continents. Some paintings of airships on their launch day, others of strange horseless carriages, others of trains that you recognize as ones that are considered for royalty only. Okay. The fabulous. What do you make of this? Hmm. It's a hallway with pictures. Yeah, but I feel like everything in this place holds some significance. You know what I mean? Oh, he got. He kind of looks at some of the pictures, especially like the horseless carriage and some of the airships. He's like, I ain't never seen any of these horseless carriage things before. I mean. We, we tried, but they kind of explode most of the time. Um, don't see a lot of airships either. Hmm. Are these like today's style airships or they do they look different from what we use around? Um, they are the same type of airships that Defibulous has seen before, but these look like they're more like these were painted on the day of their, their uh, launch, first launch. Yeah. So these are probably like historical airships. Like one of them would be the very first airship launched or, and stuff like that. Aren't the airships in our world more like Zeppelins? They're Zeppelins. Thank you for 
clarifying that for me. Yes, I am. He'll see if he actually recognizes any of the pictures of these Zeppelins. Looking around, you recognize a few of them that your parents had done um, meetings on with potential clients. You also notice a few of the steamboats that have been around. You also notice that the one that you recognize the name of, the painting has been removed. The frame is still there, but the painting is gone. Okay, this is odd. I, I know the name of this one. I've, I've seen this one before, but uh, kind of missing a painting. The name is the same one that exploded. It exploded with his siblings on it? Yes. It seems to... The Fibulous looks at him and he's kind of like his eyes widen and he just kind of shuts up and kind of shrinks down even a little lower than usual. What's wrong? It, that was the, the 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 ship my siblings were on when it exploded. That seems very weird, and I'm sorry, but follow like the train of thought that the book where you know that happened after the death it was taken out and then this being it's it has to do with death was also taken out yes that is kind of a valid point it's just odd that these are all lot pictures of these ships and zeppelins when they launched you know why would and most of some of them aren't even around anymore. Some of them have had accidents, but why would that? Uh, uh, he's just uh, it's kind of odd that it's that one's just gone. One of the things you recognize as you stare at these paintings is even though some of these have wrecked, they weren't fully destroyed, they were repairable. So a lot of these are still either in commission or have been retired and are more museum Honorary. pieces decommissioned like, and yeah yeah set out for yeah he he'll look at it and goes well i mean technically decommissioned still in service repair had an accident repaired there was nothing left of that one with that we are going to call an end mm. to this episode and we will see you next time Well, me friends, it seems as if darkness follows the Fibulous wherever he goes. Echoes of a past he will never quite forget. Strange still, the murals, a male and female bone guard. What does this mean? So many questions left unanswered. So little time we have each time. Well, me friends, next time I may answer a few questions, but I may raise more. But it is time for us to say farewell. And as always, me friends, may the dice gods bless your every roll. We here at What the Dice would like to thank Paizo for creating Pathfinder, Epidemic Sound for our music, as well as Sirenscape for our sound effects. If you would like to reach out to us, you can do so on Facebook at What the Dice Pod, Twitter at What the Dice Pod, and of course email What the Dice Pod at gmail.com. And if you liked our little adventure, please share us with your friends and rate and review us.